Hi guys, welcome to Twitter's funny channel. Today I am going to teach point of sale system step by step part 26 tutorial. Sorry for the delay to make the tutorials. So in this tutorial, I am going to show how to handle the payment process of point of sale, point of sale system. Okay. Okay. Let me click sales button. This is my sale, uh, sales process button. Here, notice that you can get the invoice number automatically on the top here, here. Okay. Here, now what I'm going to do is here, I enter the item number here over here. Okay. Let's back to our database process. This is our product table of my database. This is the beta database name, which is a person here. If you click product here these are the products available in my shop okay let's if you enter uh, one why mean it, it belongs to toss 22 led tv okay okay let's enter the number one uh, here let me see the quantity here there are 100 quantity available in our uh, shop in this product so let me enter the let me enter 10 press enter key you can notice that you uh, item one you one item here you bought one item and to total price will be here here this will be the quantity you buy 10 quantity here this 10 multiply by this uh, this price here this is the sub amount here will be uh, display here here i am going to enter another item I need 10 quantity if you enter here it's display here okay one by one okay here I can go into enter third one product third quantity will be let's enter five okay here these are the quantity I enter sometimes you may be uh, went wrong some other products here you, you are, if you're going to remove this one so what to do what to do is you click on this row you just click here the entire row will be selected if you click on this the entire row will be selected if you here you can see on your right side there will be the option which is a remove okay if you click and if you press yes the complete this row will be has been delete okay this is how you can delete the rows okay here you can notice again i am enter the price 10 here the total amount will be displayed here the enter way that now the i i entered three items here total three will be displayed at the top you bought three items here now you again you are going to remove this one first item here you can notice that again here you delete one item here total item will be two here price will be uh, decre uh, decreased here okay this is a simple part I did. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the total amount of this uh, plus uh, sales. Okay, so let's click the payment process. Okay, this is the, this is the total of the sales. Now what I'm going to do is if you enter below this range of amount like this, if you pay, you can see. Please check again the payment. Okay. So what to do is here, you have to enter above this payment, above the limit. Okay, if you pay, click pay, here the balance will be displayed at the top here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, if you click print, now my code is added successfully. Now you go and check the product, this, uh, this is the product, you have uh this this these two items will be i bought item two and three okay here quantity will be 100 100 okay okay last i already uh, update this one i added in my database so I, uh, I bought two items so here what i'm going to do is i refresh this one you can notice that now the current quantity quantity will be reduced here 1990 okay you already bought 10 items for each items so the item is the, the quantity will be reduced okay 
I hope you guys this is the demo which I am going to explain uh, and explain the code step by step uh, in my next tutorial uh, thanks guys if you like my channel please subscribe me thank you for watching